Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has confirmed that it's making access to the Windows 10's Extended Security Updates program, also known as the ESU, free for an additional year. That means until October the 14th, 2026, after the end of support this year of Windows 10 on October the 14th for regions in the European Economic Area, EEA. Now, just a quick recap regarding the ESU. Microsoft provided three options. The first was signing in with a Microsoft account and syncing your PC settings to the cloud. That's the one I took. And by the way, I'll post the video I uploaded regarding how I enrolled for the ESU. It's helped a couple of guys out. I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen. The second option was paying $30 or the third redeeming 1,000 Microsoft rewards points. So those were the three options just as a quick recap. Now, Microsoft has confirmed this change, saying, and I'm quoting, in the European economic area, we're making updates to the enrollment process to ensure it meets local expectations and delivers a secure, streamlined experience. Our goal is to support customers and provide them with options as they transition to Windows 11 with uninterrupted access to critical security updates. Now, this change comes after... Consumer defense organizations like Euro Consumers challenged Microsoft's decision. And if we head over to a letter from Euro Consumers, which I'll leave linked in the description if you would be interested, if we have a look at this paragraph, the second paragraph, it says, and I'm quoting, we are pleased to learn that Microsoft will provide a no-cost extended security updates ESU option for Windows 10 consumer users in the European economic area. We are, also, we are also glad this option will not require users to back up settings, apps or credentials or use Microsoft rewards. This was our main Digital Markets Act DMA related concern as linking access to essential security updates to engagement with Microsoft's own services raised reasonable doubt of compliance with obligations under Article 66 of the DMA, Digital Markets Act. I'll leave this PDF in the description as mentioned. So this basically means that for users in the EEA, Microsoft is now extending Windows 10 security updates by an additional year for free, which I think is good news if you find yourself in those regions. Now, now my question now is why does the rest of the world not get the same treatment? If the EU can, why not the rest of us? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd be interested to hear. So if you don't want to update to Windows 11 after the 14th of October this year, and you're still running Windows 10, at least in the EAA, you will no longer need to worry as access to extended security updates is now free until October 2026. And I have seen a couple of comments on the channel regarding this where some viewers said, they didn't have to select any options. They were already enrolled for free. And this could be the reason why you may find yourself in the EEA. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.